Before we go on to know how to replace x in inequalities, uh, let's talk about three inequalities that's important. That is, all exponentials are greater than zero. And these two, okay, is as a result of this. Now, first, you must know that if I'm going to draw y equals to modulus x, the graph would look like a V-shape cutting at zero. Okay, so in modulus means that it's made out of two, part, two graphs. One is the y equals to x, and the other one is y equals to negative x. Because modulus x can be equals to k or negative k, okay, depends, <coughs> sorry, when modulus x is equals to k, then x could be equals to k or negative k depends on whether it's, if x is greater or equals to 0 or if x is less than 0. Okay, so now if we are going to draw a line y equals to k, like over here for example. Okay, so let this line be y equals to k. So when I want to have modulus x strictly greater than this line, okay, so you, look, can, you can look at the inequality, it will just be meaning this, this part of the graph. Okay, so this means that x must be greater than k because at this point, y equals to k cut at y equals to x. It also means that the x-intercept is k. x is greater than k or this part. x is less than negative k. Okay, so the other part, if modulus x is less than k, that will be the in-between region. This part, it will means that x is in-between negative k and k. Okay, so you must know this important part first. Alright, so next, we go on to a simultaneous inequalities like this. So first, let's break this up into this 4x minus 4 over 2x plus 3 or, okay, 4x minus 4 over 2x plus 3 less than 3. Okay, so let's solve this. Now, I need to bring this over first. So this will become 4x minus 4 minus 2x plus 3 over 2x plus 3. Make it nice. I will have 4, um, 2x minus 7 over 2x plus 3. And when I multiply by 2x plus 3 squared, if you do not know what am I doing, then please refer to the front videos. Okay. I'm going to get these two points as well as 7 over 2. Now, because it's a positive x square plus minus plus, I'm going to take this region or this region. So the first part of the answer is x less than, okay, negative 3 over 2 or x greater than 7 over 2. Okay, you don't actually need to write down because this is only part of the answer. Later, we need to combine it into the final answer. So in this case, this will be 4x minus 4 minus 3 times of 2x plus 3 over 2x plus 3. Make common denominator. Bring over to the left side. So I'm going to have negative 2x because of this. And, and then uh, minus 4 minus 9, that will be minus 13. Okay, 2x plus 3, less than 0. Okay, now because, can you see this is negative, I would like to make it to positive 2x plus 13 over 2x plus 3. I want to multiply by, I multiply by a negative 1 on both sides. That's why you become greater than 0. And then you multiply by the 2x plus 3 square. So I have 2x plus 3, 2x plus 13, greater than 0. Again, plus, minus, plus, I'm taking this part, this part, negative 13 over 2, negative 3 over 2. Okay, so x must be less than negative 13 over 2 or x must be greater than negative 3 over 2. Okay, so if you combine these two answers into the final answer, let's draw a very big number line for this. So I have negative 13 over 2, I have negative 3 over 2 and I have 7 over 2 as all my roots. Okay, so taking this first part, x less than, 3 over 2 is here, okay, x greater than 7 over 2 is here. Taking the second part, look at the second part, so you have to draw on top of it, less than negative 13 over 2 is here, as well as x greater than is here. So I can see that my overlapping region is this part, this part. 
So x is less than negative 13 over 2 or x greater than 7 over 2 is my final answer okay, for this. Okay, so for the next part where I need to do the hands, okay, I'm going to do it in another video.